Hello, welcome to another Excel at the Office.com video. Uh, my name's Adrian, and this is just a very quick video in case you're struggling with the file size of your PowerPoint or Word document. This will also work for other uh, file types in Microsoft because the ribbon is generally the same. Um, what you'll probably find is your file size is large because there are images in there that you've got online or you've downloaded from your camera and not compressed. So over time, like for example in this presentation where I've got slides on lots of... Um, uh, I use this presentation to generate my design my thumbnails for my videos and blogs and things um, but what you might not have done is compress the images yet so over time you get loads of slides and the images stay there like this one for example these are images if you haven't compressed those images um, that will gradually increase your file size so it's impossible to email it or Sometimes it just takes ages re opening it. Anything over 10 megabytes really is what you want to avoid. You want it in the one or two megabytes. So let's get to it now. I'm going to pick a slide uh, with an image. So just find any image. Um, so this is one I did the other day on fixing the annoying color palette that Microsoft has uh, introduced. Um, so you select the image. When you select the image in the thumbnail, you'll get the option for a picture format uh, 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 sorry, in the ribbon you'll get a picture format uh, tab of options. Click on that tab and what you want to do is locate this compress pictures button. It's compress pictures button. So that may or may not be particularly prominent to you. It might be a tiny icon like this. I've got my screen shared in HD so I've not got it quite full screen. Um, it might be a bigger icon to you, but it looks like that. It's basically looks like some arrows pinching all four corners of the image thumbnail. So I'll click that, and what I'm going to do is choose um, my select off the only apply to this picture option, and then um, I want to delete the cropped areas of the picture so that if you've cropped the image, uh, like brought in the edges and um, that will delete everything outside of it because otherwise it's still stored and saved in there if you ever wanted to recover it but you probably don't and then you pick from the resolution uh, now these are all grayed out to me because this is already a very low resolution image um, because I've already done this process and it has only taken from a screenshot in the first place which is generally lower resolution so um, but what you'll probably find is that it's somewhere above, it's somewhere like print or HD. So if you're only sharing these things online or emailing things or presenting them on a screen, it's perfectly good to have it at web. So that's what PPI is pixels per inch. So 150 pixels per inch is perfectly adequate. And although it's less than half of your... Um, HD option, um, it will be far less than half, it will only be a fraction, a tenth maybe, of the size afterwards of the images because it makes such a difference. So pixels per inch is just in a square inch how many pixel or how many pixels is it uh, high and wide and um, that's the resolution as it were. So obviously if you are going to print things either to exporting things to a PDF or um, actually printing it out you might want the print option it's very rare that you'll want HD but choose the web or if you're going really extreme to save space like you've got a hundred two hundred slides each of which has a image on it that you've taken with a digital SLR or something like that then you might want to apply that and then you click OK it thinks about it for a bit because it's doing it to all the pictures and jobs are good and so what that's done is compressed all those pictures to uh, web resolution for me or whatever the resolution I've changed so next time you go and save uh, the, the uh, file whether this is a uh, word document or PowerPoint whatever you're using it's the same place on the ribbon where you locate an image 
So you have to select the image for this tab to come up on the ribbon, go to your picture format and compress. So when you save it, it will be a far smaller image. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, by all means, uh, comment below if you did or uh, subscribe for more if you like what I do. And certainly if you've... Um, if I've saved you a bunch of time, maybe consider contributing a coffee at my website, excelattheoffice.com or ito.blog would be much appreciated to help uh, cover my website fees and such. Um, until next next time, take care.